What's up guys, it's Naughty Alex here, and uh, I'm going to be doing a, another remake of my zombie mod pack installation video. The reason is because where I've done the two videos of the using the me Minecraft patch chart and doing it without, a lot of you have got confused, a lot of you have had the same errors, so it's going to be kind of a video of me going into a lot of detail and saying everything properly and stuff like that. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is show you how to get to your .minecraft area. This is only for Windows, if you've got a Mac I'm sorry, I should be getting a Mac soon but until then I'm doing Windows videos and I probably still will do from there on because it is meant to be for school work but however I will be using it for some videos. Ah, oh, Don't change, it annoys me when that changes, oh, I'll just ignore it, let's get on with the video. So to get to your .minecraft folder you want to press the Windows key and the letter R and it should bring up this dialog box. In this dialog box you're going to want to type the percent sign which is, if you're not sure, number 5, hold shift number 5, app data, which, percent sign, forward slash, dot minecraft, forward slash. If you then hit OK this will take you to your OSC, users, your name, app data, roaming and dot minecraft. In here, to just when you're installing the mod it's easiest if you install it with a blank file purely because if you have something else installed that's not meant to be installed first it can end up with that mod not working or it might even end up with you getting black screen or things like that or just silly little errors so you're going to want to delete your bin folder config mods resources don't delete your saves that's where all your saves are don't delete screenshots don't delete your stats um, I suggest you get rid of all texture packs just in case if in not necessarily with the zombies mod pack but you can anyway you don't want to delete last login I'm going to delete MC patcher and all of them so I've now got that if I now put that to one side and open up minecraft put that to one side as well if I log in you'll see that it's downloading the packages as it downloads the packages it puts everything back into here how it was this means that Everything that was in there has now gone, and it has all come back to a brand new blank, fi blank file. I found out with the Force update, it doesn't always make it completely blank, so this is the best way to do it. Once that is done, I'm going. To, I'm actually going to pause it because it seems to be taking a while because I've deleted quite a lot, so it's having to patch over quite a lot and get rid of quite a lot. So it's what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it and then come back in a second. Right, as you can see that is now finished, I've got it back to the Minecraft main menu. You can close Minecraft now, you don't need them open, so make sure you've now got it closed from now on. You now need to download the Zombs mod, Zombs mod pack, and you do this by going to the Minecraft forums. My internet seems to be really slow today. Hitting the forum area, scrolling down to you hit the mapping and modding section, about halfway down and scroll well. Going to released mods and you're going to want to find zombies mod pack I know that I've, as I've posted in it I get a little diamond up next to it so it's easier for me to find but I will put it in the description I keep saying this but keep forgetting because I rush it when I'm uploading it but I will put the link in the description but I'm guessing if you're already here you've already found it anyway if not then you can see where I'm getting it from now um, there is compat whilst I'm going through here I'll talk about compatibility issues you can have too many items with this you have to install it after if you've got it in before it's not going to work you have to install it after that's the main one that pops up you don't need to worry about mod loader you can just do it the way I'm doing it it doesn't need mod loader at all because either way you're still going to have to drop all the files but when you get on to find the zombies mod pack forum topic you're going to want to go down to the current download link you should click that it doesn't use adfly or anything it will drop down it's a dropbox file and it will go straight into your downloads area you're now going to save it into an area that you know is there so the best place is for the time being your desktop it's there you know it's there it's easy to locate you can now close your web browser it's not needed um, most likely so now you want to open up the zombies mod pack zombies mod pack 
you need WinRAR installed because that's what it's going to get open with. So make sure you do have a WinRAR installed for the right PC, 64-bit, 32-bit Windows, Vista, Windows 7, etc., etc. You also want to have your .minecraft open as well. Let's close that. You want to have your .minecraft open as well, and you want to go into the bin file, and you've, you'll have Minecraft uh, as a dot your Minecraft. It should say Minecraft dot jar. I've assigned it to WinRAR, so all you'll have to do is double click it to open it. But yours will say Minecraft dot jar. Is what you want to do now is you want to if you haven't got it assigned, you want to open right click and then go open with. As you can see there, it says open with, and then you want to go to WinRAR. If you have a version number next to one of them, you don't want to use that one. If you're using the MC Patcher, you will get a version number, but still don't use that one. You want to go into the Minecraft.jar straight out. If you've got Windows 7, you can just drag that to the side and it'll go out. If you've got a major Int folder in here, you're going to want to delete it, which is just simple. Go over it, delete, enter. And then that's that bit done. You've now got the three folders here classes config and source you don't need to do anything with a source folder that's for modders leave it alone the one you're using with the minecraft.jar is the classes folder so you're going to want to double click and open that you now want to drag and drop all of these files except the two dots at the top because that takes you back to where you just come from so drag and drop it into this bottom area to stop it from accidentally getting dropped into one of these folders okay now you can double click the two dots at the back and you go back to here. You're now done with your dot Minecraft, uh, your Minecraft jar, sorry, so you can close this down. This will take you back to your dot Minecraft area, and you want to go back into the dot Minecraft area. In this area where you've got your bin, resources, saves, and screenshots, you're going to want to go new and folder. You're going to call this one mods, M O D S, no capital letters, nothing. Enter, or just click away. And you want to go into it. You're then going to want to create another new folder called Zombie, which is Z-O-M-B-E. Once again, no capital letters. This is because it's where the file gets read from. Then on back on your Zombies mod pack that you've downloaded, you want to go into the config file. And you've got all these um, text documents. You're going to want to drag and drop all of them into there. If it drags and drops and it goes in as a WinRAR file, you want to right click extract a specified folder, locate your .minecraft file and drop it into the correct area. You now want to go into the config area, uh, the config file, and it should open with notepad. You then want to, well the one I'll be activating is the fly mod, so you're going to want to scroll down till you find it. Here it is, fly mod dash aka dot fly. To activate the mod, you will have mod fly enabled equals yes. You have it on all of them, mod compass enabled equals yes. To activate it, you've got this hash key at the front, which kind of looks like a um, noughts and crosses grid. It's the easiest way to describe it, and you need to get rid of it. Once got rid of it, uh, you need to just go file, save. You can close all this down now. It's not needed, so you now want to load up your Minecraft game. If you get a black screen, it's because you haven't you haven't deleted the made to inf. If you have deleted the made to inf and you still get a black screen, I suggest retrying it before you comment saying it doesn't work. I'm now going to log into a server I'm co-owner on, which is mc.creditcraft.net. It's public; anybody can join. But the main thing we're here for is the um. Fly mod. So I'm just going to quickly change the control. Uh, I'm not going to bother about change controls. Controls. When you're in game, actually I will. And the controls I have it set out is you have Q, which is to go down. So I'll change that to R, which is drop. You have F, which activates it. I change that to Z. Inventory I always have as I. I don't know why I got changed. Sneak as X, and that's it. I then click done. Done. Right. So. To make sure it's working, you press F, which is the activate key, and in the top left hand corner, you'll have flying. This shows that you are flying. If you go at normal speed, it looks really slow, but if you hit the left shift key, it will make you go quicker. Um, that's all for the time being. Um, if it helps you, subscribe and like it. I've just hit 100 subscribers today, guys. Thank you very much for that, and I'll see you soon.